Oh my gosh, I am so tired. I can't believe I let them convince me to run a race that's just a giant obstacle course with mud pits. Sure, it sounds fun, but actually doing it is something else. I can see the halfway marker up ahead. I think I'll try to make it to that and then I'm calling it. I'm so glad I told them not to wait for me and to just go as fast as they can. I'm glad they're having fun, but this is, this is just not for me. Wait a minute. Is that them up ahead? They're covered in mud. <laughs> but why are they sitting down along the edge of the track? I hope they're not waiting for me. Hey! <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. What are you doing? Just taking in the sights? I told you not to wait for me. Just go. I'm not even going to finish, I don't think. Well, I'll make it to the halfway marker and then. <laughs> and then I'm out. That'll be plenty. You're not waiting for me? Okay, well, I'm gonna sit down next to you because oh, I could use a rest. Oh my gosh. Once you give up and stop for a minute, it is so much harder to get going again, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, I am totally covered in mud, head to toe. You like that? <laughs> it's a good look, huh? I'm hoping it will make my skin nice and soft. Well, I saw there were monkey bars that went across a big mud puddle. You know the one. And I thought, yeah, I could easily get across that. And other people were just kind of gliding through that obstacle and it looked easy. And it started out great, but my hands were sweaty, so bam, I lost my grip and fell and then I slipped and my entire face just went right into the mud. <laughs> well, it wasn't funny then, but it's kind of funny now. <laughs> oh yeah, it tasted great. Love that grit early in the morning. Babe, why are you sitting here? Are you okay? You're not okay? Are you hurt? What happened? You twisted your knee? Which one? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Let me see. How did you wreck your knee? Jumping over the wall? Well, you made it pretty far after getting over the wall. It hurts really bad. Yeah, yeah, I know there's that sore pain and then there's that you are injured pain. I'm glad you're listening to your body telling you to stop. You think you can keep going? Whoa, 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 honey, no. <laughs> no, no, you're not finishing this race. I know you could, I, I absolutely believe you could finish this race, but why would you do that to your leg? No, your strong, supportive leg that got you all this way. Your leg is hurt and it's counting on you to look after it. Oh look, look, there's a guy wearing a suit. <laughs> hey, I like your tie. Thumbs up. <laughs> Did you see his face? He looks tired, I bet that suit is really heavy with the mud. No, baby, sit down. No, sit down. Sit. I know this is hard for you. You've been training for this race and even though it's been kind of a joke to me, I know it's a big deal to you. And you were doing amazing. You were right up in the front. I saw you take off. I know you wanted to win. 
and you have won a lot of races and there are many more races that you will win. But today it just wasn't in the cards. It's not your fault. It was an accident. You just landed wrong. Hey, hey. I am so sorry this happened. I know you're really frustrated. And I know you have a fire inside of you that makes you want to jump up and hobble your way to the finish line. But you know what? There are times in life where we have to hold back so that future us will be okay. If you push too hard on your knee now, it will take way longer to heal. Baby, if I could, I would scoop you up and carry you to the finish line, but I mean, I can barely make it this far. We're not even to the halfway point. Maybe we'll make that a goal for next year. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get so strong I can carry you for miles. <laughs> well, it's okay to be disappointed. This is totally unfair and unexpected. And I know you really wanted to push yourself today. Should we head back? Here, I'll help you stand up. Come on. Come on. All right. Okay, put your arm over my shoulder. And you can hop your way back. We'll find the tent with the snacks in it. <laughs> I am starving. Are you hungry? I know. It's going to be okay. Maybe it's not that bad. We'll get you to a doctor and who knows, it might just be sore. All right, here you go. Easy does it, onto the couch. <laughs> okay. Whew. I'm so tired. My feet are so sore. I definitely have blisters. And that was the most logistical shower I have ever taken. But we did it. We got clean with teamwork. <sighs> I feel a lot better after a shower. There was so much grime in my hair. I felt bad tracking mud into the doctor on the way home, but you can only get so clean from a garden hose after a mud race, you know? Plus, we brought towels, so I don't think it was that bad. I did apologize. Speaking of the doctor, here, let me get you an ice pack from the freezer. Put your foot up on this pillow. Rest. Ice. Comp. Comp. Cooperate? What is C? I know the acronym is RICE. What does the C stand for? R-I-C-E. Compression. And elevate. Yes, I'm glad someone was listening to the doctor. <laughs> Rest. Ice. Compression. Elevation. Put this on your knee. How does that feel? Cold? I'm sorry you're hurting, baby. If I can do anything to make you more comfortable, let me know. Oh, I know. I know you're disappointed. Not only did you not get to finish the race, but they said you have a sprained knee and that's going to take a couple weeks or more to heal. You're going to have to take it slow for a while. It's really unfair. After you did all this work leading up to the race and now you just have to rest and heal. I'm proud of you, though. 
you listened to your body and didn't injure yourself further. That was really smart and kind to future you. I care a lot about you, so you got to take care of yourself, you know? I'm sorry the day went like this. Life is unpredictable and the real bummer sometimes. But with time and loving care, aw, <laughs> you're going to heal up and feel great again. Isn't that incredible what our bodies can do? How we just heal ourselves if we wait a little bit? I think that's wild. You have a self-healing knee. <laughs> Does it hurt a lot? Yeah. Should I get a Sharpie and draw a little smiley face on it? Would that help? No. <laughs> okay. Let me know if you change your mind. Sorry I was complaining about my feet hurting and my blisters. That's probably kind of annoying to hear when your knee is injured. I love you, baby. You're going to be okay. One day soon, you'll wake up and your knee will be just like new and we can crawl over all the obstacles you want. Sure, I'll do it again. I don't know if I'd finish another race either, but I'll try my best. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was trying my best today. Just... You know, everyone's best is different. <laughs> of course. I love spending time with you. We'll be back in the mud before you know it.